Hey, what's up? I'm gonna do a review of the uh, bowl piece that I bought today. It's kind of a short, nubbly guy, because I like little short bowls. And uh, this is, I guess, some decent glass artwork. Um, it was probably like $15, uh, $15, $20. I bought it with uh, some more of this uh, fatty, this is, uh, what's this flavor called? Sour diesel terpene flavored. 100% CBD infused herbs. This is the third one of these I've bought and I've still got about half of my second one. These are $30 and there's 10 grams of dry leaf in there. And uh, I'll read you the contents. The contents seem to be the same on just about all of these. And uh, I've noticed dramatic benefits already after taking it for about a week or something. Uh, maybe a little bit under a week. Uh, I smoke quite a bit of it, by the way, because I'm quitting cigarettes and I've minimized my vaping to a pretty substantial low level as well. Um, not that I should be smoking, vaping's probably better than smoking, but I prefer to get the benefits from the CBD as opposed to just nicotine with the vaping. Anyways, um, so here's the other flavors that I've tried. It's um, Gorilla OG terpene flavored and Purple Haze terpene flavored. They're all 100 milligrams, no THC, 100% CBD infused herbs. Um, I think 100 milligrams is a kind of low dose. So what I'm looking into right now are CBD crystals. I'll post um, as part of this video a little bit of information pertaining to CBD crystals and um, I'll show you the glass artwork piece that I'm getting as well as some of the other stuff that I'm gonna have brought down to me um, that I'm gonna use for the CBD crystals and this uh, flower mix not flower but uh, CBD infused herb mix um, and I'll be doing that the content of well I'll just do that in a second first I'm going to read you the the contents of these um, this pro product is a mixture of Indian and Himalayan herbs its net weight is 10 grams and um, so anyways the ingredients are black Indian basil holy basil Tulsi bay leaves tijpat lotus red sugarcane mint lavender vetiver turmeric, haldi, CBD, and terpenes. I, I thought that each different kind, like the um, sour diesel, the uh, purple haze, and the gorilla OG had different terpenes in them. Like for instance, I thought maybe for instance, uh, the purple haze would be more of an indica strain with terpenes such as like myrosine and linalool. Um, and I thought that the gorilla OG as well as the sour diesel might have terpenes like um, uh, maybe like um, like the one that comes from citrus I for, I'm forgetting the name of it right now but it's the one that's more uplifting and um, I guess combats anxiety and anti has anti-inflammatory properties I'll have to go back and re-listen to that uh, terpene video that I made if it ever becomes legal wherever I'm stationed at uh, or living at I'm not in the army <laughs> and uh, anyways um, but I wasn't able to find a terpene content list for these specific brands so maybe one day they'll actually list out what terpenes are in these um, it would be interesting to see if these three brands there's a fourth one which is just regular terpene flavored which has a blue label um, if there's any difference in the terpene content I found a uh, a profile for the CBD to CBN to CBC content and uh, those percentages were listed um, like that and uh, there's absolutely no THC in it so it's not like a euphoric fe feeling at all but it does help combat combat anxiety I've noticed um, my posture is terrible but when I lay down for the, a night's rest I'm able to go to sleep almost instantly and I sleep very well have vivid dreams, I'm able to recall my dreams in the morning. Um, it's basically all stuff that I said in another video, but it's a product that I support at the moment. So anyways, um, back to this short kid. Uh, this is what it is. 
Uh, it's just a little short guy. It's kind of got a um, an air piece, a thumb place that you put your thumb on that's kind of too close to the bowl for me, like the actual bowl piece, um, or the place where you put your basil or whatever that's infused with CBD. Um, but I haven't yet lit my finger on fire. I, I just use these small lighters, um, like so. Um, this is the one that I got today. My collection of lighters is seriously substantial. Um, it's probably like 60 different lighters now. And uh, I think I've collected all the ones in my area, so, you know, that is what it is. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and infuse myself with a little bit of this CBD uh, flavored stuff right now basil turmeric holy basil tulsi bay leaves lich pat lotus red sugar cane etc um doesn't smell anything like cannabis and it doesn't taste anything like cannabis and uh i'm not getting drug drug tested specifically for cbd so i, I feel safe saying that i'm able to do this when i'm on probation And, um, so anyways, I just want to be safe with what I'm doing, but still get the medicine that I was trying to get when I was back in Maryland and when I had the prescription for it. Um, this is basically where most of the therapeutic benefits come from. There, there is some, th a lot of therapeutic benefits in the terpenes and terpenines. Um, but that's, you know, it is what it is. CBD is basically the endocannabinoid receptor system which I'm learning about slowly. I'm piecing my way through the uh, book that I've got on it. And um, yeah, it's basically active with like every part of your body and every organ ever. <laughs> so nothing wrong with that. Plus I've been taking like a shitload of orotate vitamins and Moringa Oliveira tea. Um, I had a beer the other day. I, I drank like three quarters of a beer today. Put it back in the refrigerator because it was disgusting. Uh, I'd rather drink the tea and get the benefits from the Moringa Oliveira, but I'm trying to be as healthy as I can when I'm down here, and uh, that's what I'm about. So anyways, I'll just go ahead and light this up. I, I got it. It's It might change color a little bit once it gets darker, but for right now, it's like orange and red for... Uh, Red for passion and orange because nothing rhymes with it. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. I'll be honest, I used to smoke oregano when I was like 14. I convinced my friends that it was pot. And we like sat in my basement one night blowing oregano out the window. <laughs> so it kind of tastes like that, burning oregano. But uh, it doesn't taste bad to me because I'm used to smoking oregano out of post-it notes. So, you know, that was me being gross when I was 14. But this actually has uh, CBD in it, so it's better than just smoking oregano. Um, my mood's been better. Uh, anxiety is low. The amount of voices that I'm hearing in my head um, due to my schizoaffective disorder has kind of gone down. It's not completely gone, um, but it's getting better, um, which is good. And um, I'm still taking my pharmaceutical medications for those that I'm prescribed as recommended and as prescribed, but um, I've just kind of added this as well as the other stuff that I've been doing, the Oritates and the uh, Moringa Oliveira, as well as my uh, bio essential, bio essence oils and lotions, um, or just oils and lotion uh, for my chakra points. And uh, I, I haven't done those in like two days, but I'll probably do those later today. And then I'll just take a shower, or take a shower, then put on the oils and lotions 
probably smoke like four more of these and then go to bed. But it's still early now, it's like 4.30. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you the Nucleus Triple Recycler Bong, which is what I've got coming to me on the way. And um, then I'll show you some of the CBD crystals and talk about those briefly and uh, see what those could do for me, if anything that this isn't already doing. But this is a small dosage. This is like 100 milligrams and I'm still getting some positive benefits, I feel. Um, and again, that's only after about a week. Um, I guess the, what I like about this kind of pharmaceutical or just smokable item, because it's not even a pharmacy thing. Uh, I, I guess what I like about this CBD stuff is that it's like almost immediate reaction to feeling better. Um, I guess for me a lot of it comes from the sensation of just being able to smoke something that kind of calms my anxiety Because I've been doing it since I was like 16 pretty consistently Except for when I was in college and studying really hard um, Anyways, I'm going to show you this glass artwork that I got coming to me on the way and uh, Then I'll show you some of the old artwork and then I'll show you the crystals Everyone's probably already seen my old artwork, but I might show it anyways because I'm excited about it. Anyways, have a good one at this point in time, then I'll show you that stuff, then I'll come back on camera. Alright, so this is the Nucleus Triple Recycler Bong, and I'll read you the description and then show you the images. The smoothest pipe you'll ever smoke. It's hard to find a piece that has more diffusion than this Triple Recycler Bong from Nucleus Glass. This triple recycler bong features three separate chambers that sit above a half fab egg main chamber that contains a circ percolator. Say that five times fast when you're on CBD. Plus, I like the way they call this a bong now and not a water pipe. Uh, when you start to inhale, your smoke passes through the circ perk and around the Swiss chamber before being recycled back through the triple recycler chambers. The constant movement of your smoke throughout these different perks and chambers will give you a flavorful and smooth hit every time you, you moke. Use, use moke. <laughs> use moke? Okay, that was a typo. This triple recycler bong is made of thick, clear borosilicate glass, so you watch your smoke travel throughout the different chamber. Chambers, maybe? I don't know, maybe another typo. Most bongs with this type of percolation can cost hundreds of dollars, but Nucleus Glass is on a mission to prove, provide incredible pieces at prices everyone can afford. This Nucleus Glass de decals may vary in color. Um, <clears throat> nucleus Bong, Nucleus Recycler, Extreme Filtration, uh, decal color varies, Clear Glass, Dewar's Joint, Fab Egg, 90 Degree Joint, Female Joint, 14 Millimeter Joint, Cirque Perk. Thick borosilicate glass. This is priced at 136, and these are the um, images of this. And then I, I might show you a video on YouTube of someone actually using this piece uh, with nothing in the chamber. But I like the look of this, and I watched the way that it it kind of smoked and. Um, I got a banger for the crystals if I ever want to use those, which would be a higher milligram content level. So anyways, I'll show you the video now. Alright, this might be weird because I don't know if anyone ever makes videos of videos on YouTube, but this is titled Awesome Recycler Bong Triple Bong Cyclone from GZ Smoke. Looks pretty smooth to me. So anyways, I'll show you uh, some of my old artwork. Alright, so this is from my Instagram account. I'll just show you some of the pieces that I got. This is my demon piece, the double-headed demon. These are all from uh, Mr. Smoke. I got this uh, squid or octopus one. Venom. I think I got a couple different angles. Uh, the demon again, I didn't get this one. Here's a better version of the squid or octopus piece. Uh, I got most of these cork boards that are cool art. I had this microscope, but it got taken in the arrest when I was tr 
uh, speeding to get back to Maryland. Here's Venom again. I got Venom to uh, base and the microscope together to basically say that the microscope was for the cure and Venom was the disease. So that's the idea behind those two. Uh. But now I can kill the disease with a squid or the daemon and my new recycler bomb. So that's what I'll be using. All right, so I was just informed by this guy here, um, Aaron90, um, if that's his name, Aaron Richard. Um, I posted his uh, video in my CBD section of uh, my liked videos and stuff like that on YouTube of a uh, ni dabbing availability for 99% CBD isolate that's legal in all 90 states. And uh, this is the company. CB Distillery. Uh, the CB Distillery was founded by a group of Colorado natives with a strong belief that people have a right to the highest quality, fairly priced, hemp-derived CBD. Okay, and so this is what I like about this. Um, it's got terpenes in there and terpenines, which so, so that would give the actual flavor of the terpenine. So probably what I'm going to go ahead and get is uh, four grams, which is a discounted price from what I was getting for a gram back up north of concentrate. Um, a gram up north was like 65 or $70 and these are 45 so I'll probably get the 4 gram terpsilate variety pack of Jack Hare, Tangy, Blue Dream, and Cherry Pie and uh, try that out for a go. And I'm pretty sure they do free shipping as well as um, yeah, free shipping on orders over to $75 as well as um, 5% off the first order. So I'm probably going to go ahead and order this <coughs> at some point in time and uh, get myself set up with that and see how that goes. So anyways, I hope everyone's well and um, that's what that would be. Let's see what this says about this. The term terpsilate is used to describe CBD isolates which have been combined with terpenes most popularly used for dabbing, though they can be used in many other creative ways. Our product offers a balanced combination of 90%, 99% pure CBD isolate and hemp-derived terpenes, offering a satisfying dabbing experience. Awesome. So anyways, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and get some of that, and uh, that would be great, and I'm looking forward to... Uh, the stuff that I'm I'm getting coming to me. So anyways, um, thanks to my parents, thanks to my family and friends, thanks to that guy on YouTube for knowing about this, and thanks to all the distributors and companies that make this CBD stuff available for everybody. Um, thanks to Vape Fitters too for making uh, the CBD stuff available to me to begin with, to start me off with my bundles. And... Um, I'm feeling pretty good right now, so, <laughs> and I've, I've probably smoked about, like, I don't know, maybe, like, four or five of these small balls, um, whereas normally I would smoke, like, a blunt worth, um, or, like, a wrap's worth, and I'm feeling pretty good, so, I'm not hearing anything in my head, by the way, it's just, like, a neighbor talking, but, you know, that happens in hotels, so it's not bothering me at all, <laughs> and, uh, anyways, um, Dude, I'm like super grateful for this because, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, thanks. Have a good one. Hey, <clears throat> I just wanted to add a caveat to this video or an addendum or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, people might be wondering like, why are you, dude, why are you spending so much money on like items and goods and services and this kind of stuff? Uh, basically, I don't want to get cancer. I don't want to get Alzheimer's disease. I don't want to get gallbladder disease. I don't want to get kidney stones. I don't want to get... A worse condition of schizoaffective disorder or, or depression or um, mania bipolar disorder or my uh, temporal lobe seizures that I've self-diagnosed myself with which is what I was taking the uh, anti-convulsant for um, or mood stabilizer and I don't want to get uh, cancer I, cancers I'm repeating myself now but I you know I've looked up the average cost of these things and for instance 
An average cancer patient will pay more than four thousand dollars in deductibles and copays in a year before costs are fully covered. Um, that's just for one type of cancer, and there's way too many possibilities out there. Um, lung cancer, that's why I quit smoking, that's why I specifically only vape or smoke these uh, CBD infused terpene flavored herbs. Um, cost of dialysis, uh, for patients not covered by health insurance, a single hemodialysis treatment typically costs up to 500 or more or about 72,000 or more per year for the typical three treatments per week. So um, I'm on the border of being hyperglycemic, hypoglycemic, whatever the thing is, really bad um, LDH or LDH is a good one. I'm not too privy on that information because I'm still on the borderline, but I'm about like 200 level. So if that gets any worse, then um, that could be a problem. <laughs> but uh, even with health insurance, um, okay, 114 for dialysis related drug costs and about $10 per dialysis cost for months. Average US patient pays that. Um, why am I taking all these orotates? Um, same reason I'm taking CBD basically. Um, just to stay healthy so I don't get these problems and neurodegenerative disorders and conditions when I get older. Um, so I think I'd be saving money in the long run, maybe. And, um, you know, I, I don't stretch enough. I don't exercise that much, but I eat crap because that's what I'm available right now. I need to eat better. Uh, there's a food store and a food line if I can take the bus there. I'll probably take the bus there and then just like eat better when I get the time and um but I'm like super good with my nutrients and vitamins and uh CBD so um I think I'd be saving money in the long run with or without health insurance so that's my excuse that's what I'm doing blame me for it do whatever you want I love glass artwork I'm a supporter of artists and um you know whatever I don't know. Thanks, parents. Thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. Thanks, friends and families and coworkers and neighbors and people that make stuff and do stuff and want to be healthy. So, anyways, have a good one.